Hey guys, Sensei Art here from Jeff Sweetman's Tempo 5.0 Pasadena. I'm going to go over some of the basics that you guys are going to need to know, some of the smaller details and things that we we'll really want you guys to focus on. This is especially for you guys that are doing your beginner intro classes with us during our virtual classes on Zoom. So make sure that we're watching this video a few times and we're getting all the basics in there. You don't have to get it all at once. Make sure you keep re-watching and add more and more detail every time. So we're going to start with the attention stance. Make sure your feet are together, toes pointed straight. Hands close in a fist. We're going to have our fingers go all the way down. Thumbs go over the top. We don't want to let the thumbs stick out on the side here. Thumbs are over the top. Hands down right in front. And you're looking straight forward and you're focused on what your instructor is saying. We call that one an attention stance. Very, very important that we can hold a solid attention stance for a long period of time. Now we're going to move to our horse stance. So you're going to take your left leg. You're going to step out to the side. And you're going to step as wide as your shoulders. You don't want your stance to be too big. It's going to be very difficult for you to keep the balance there, and it's hard to go in and out of that stance. So make sure you're at shoulder width apart here. This is the right size for your stance. Whenever you go to your horse stance from your attention, what you're going to want to do is step, and at the same time, I'm going to flip my hands upside down and pull my arms back like I'm doing two back elbows. I'm imagining there's someone really big behind me. They're trying to attack. So I'm taking my elbows and going straight back as far as I can. So pull my hands back. This is called a chambered position. When you're in your horse stance, you want to make sure of a few things. You don't want your toes pointed out in different directions. You don't want one foot going this way and one foot going over that way. You want to make sure that your feet are pointing straight forward. So right in front of you is very important. Hands are pulled back in the chamber like we talked about, and we're bending our knees just enough so if we peek down, we can't see our toes. If your knees are straight and you peek down, you can see them. So make sure you bend your knees far enough that you cannot see your toes anymore. And of course, back straight, make sure you have good posture and you're looking straight forward, just like in the attention stance. So let's go back to attention. Every time we move in and out of a horse stance, we're always gonna use the left leg. We're never gonna use the right one with them. We're gonna pretend that one's glued. So left leg goes back to our attention stance. Now I'm gonna step out to my horse stance again, and this time when I pull my arms back and I bend my knees, I'm gonna add a ki to it. Ready? And go, ki-ai. That's it. So every time I do my ki, I push out all the air from my lungs, and what I'm doing is I'm tightening up my muscles. So it's going to do a few things for you. Number one, it's going to make sure that you get a boost of power. Number two, it's going to remind you at the same exact time to pull your hands and bend your knees so it gives you help with timing. And it's also going to help scare the opponent. So if someone's attacking you and you start keying with your moves, they're going, to, they're going to be a little afraid. They're going to be shocked that someone's keying so loud in the face. So now we're in our horse stance. We're going to start with our punches. Okay, we're going to start with our right hand. So when I say right, you're going to have your right hand shoot all the way out, right in the center of your body. You want to make sure that your punch is up at shoulder level. So if my shoulder is this tall, my punch has to be the same exact height. I cannot punch down or punch up this way. Those are different kinds of punches. We'll cover those in a second. So we're here in our horse stance, right hand out all the way in the middle. And every time that you hit with a punch or you do a block, an elbow, you're going to key eye every time. So it looks like this. Kia! And I hold it right there in the center. That arm stays up there until I'm ready to do the next one. So when I throw my left hand here, I'm going to pull this one back as hard as I can. So watch it in slow motion. This hand goes back. The other hand comes all the way out. And I flip it over every time I punch. Let's do that again. So we're going to pull this hand back as I'm turning it upside down. Other hand comes out. And now I'm here in this position with my palm facing down. Let's do the next one. Ready? And I pull this one back. Go all the way out with the other hand and flip it over. So every time you guys do your punch, I want to see your hand rotating. So I'm going to pull this one back by rotating your palm up. And the other hand goes out and it flips over as soon as I'm ready to do my punch. Again, we're at shoulder height. Not too low, not too high. Let's go ahead. Now if we do a double punch, it looks like this. You're going to throw two punches in a row, but if you have two punches, that means I need two key eyes. So watch this. Kia, kia. Just like that. So you want to make sure you're hitting the same spot every time. I'll show you again. Kia, kia. Go ahead. So I'm not punching all over the place, right in the middle every time. Those are your regular punches and your double punch. Another name that we have for our regular punch is a horizontal punch, which means it is flat this way. Now we're going to learn the other version of our punch which is called a vertical punch. All you have to do here is take that punch that you were just doing at shoulder height, we're gonna turn it sideways. We call this a vertical position. And we're gonna raise it up to nose level. So instead of going to shoulder level, when we're punching up above our shoulder level to the nose, we're gonna turn our hand vertically and we're gonna lift it up just a bit higher. Here we go. So right hand's gonna do our vertical punch. Ready, and right. Go ahead and see how I'm holding it right there in front of my nose. Now every time I throw, I'm gonna add my key eye. Ready, and go. Yeah. Again, go, kia. Yeah. Again, go, kia. Yeah. Go, let's put our hands to the side and chamber. So by watching this video a few times, you'll get used to the names of the moves. You'll get used to the positions like the chamber, the toe straight, knees bent, 
All those will come with time. The more and more you practice, the easier it's going to get for you, and the better you're going to get at doing these moves. So now let's move on. So we have those moves in there. We did our horizontal punches, we did our double punches, and we did our vertical punch. Now we're going to go to our back elbow. Okay, here's what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see me here. So my hands are in a chamber position. When I call for a back elbow, the hand that I call, we're going to start with the right. You're going to go all the way out to the front as far as you can. Then you're going to shoot your elbow back behind you with the ki eye as far as you can possibly get it. Looks like this. ki eye. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time. So if I say right, hand goes forward and comes back. Now we want to make it a pretty fast move so it looks like this. ki eye. And if I were to do the other side, same exact thing. Left hand will go all the way out to the front and shoot back as far as I can. ki eye. So now I'm going to turn face you guys again. It looks like this when we're facing each other. Ready? And right. ki eye. Left. ki eye. Right. Ki eye. Left. ki eye. Now I don't want to see you going across your body and then elbowing in all sorts of directions or going up and elbowing down. You want to try to go straight forward and straight back. Straight forward and straight back. That's your back elbow. And you also practice your back elbows when you go from attention to your horse stance, you're bringing back two strong back elbows as far as you can get it. So make sure you guys are practicing that as well.